A recent lawsuit, in fact, a lawsuit that is playing out right now against Ford, I believe really proves my point about hybrids and plug-in hybrids and how they are actually more unsafe and more prone to fire risk than purely electric vehicles, in particular, purely electric vehicles that run lithium ion phosphate battery packs. So Ford has essentially disclosed what the problems are with hybrids and why, in fact, they are more combustible than EVs. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. A new lawsuit has claimed that Ford's hybrids are fundamentally unsafe. And there's a key reason for why they're making this claim. Back in June, Ford Motor Company issued a recall on select Ford 2023 to 2023 Escape models, 2022 to 2023 Ford Mavericks, and 2021 to 2023 Lincoln Corsair models equipped with 2.5 liter hybrid and plug-in hybrid engines over an engine fire risk. Now, Ford, to be fair, I mean, to the, in their defense, at least they're recognizing this issue. That's a huge positive step. I mean, for example, BYD having quite a lot of problems with their plug-in hybrids in China, they're causing a lot of negative publicity for EVs because even though it's not EVs here that are causing these fires, people just say, look, it's a BYD on fire. We told you the BYDs are unsafe. We told you that EVs are unsafe. They're burning to the ground and they don't even consider the fact that it's not actually an EV. It's a plug-in hybrid. I mean, I don't know how people can say an electric car is a car dragging around a gas tank and an engine. How's that an electric car? That's clearly a gasoline powered car dragging around a battery. Really, fundamentally, it is because most people don't drive them as EVs. So we've proven that point. Surveys have proven that point. The European Union knows that. That's why they've changed all the incentives on plug-in hybrids because people are not using them as such. Therefore, the whole terminology of calling one of those an EV is a misnomer. Anyway, getting back to my point here, at least for us admitting to the fact that having petrol fumes running around, we have a battery pack, is maybe not a great idea. And maybe the reason why there's eight fires in China every single day for electric cars, but not really. Most of them are actually plug-in hybrids. Now, why you would buy a plug-in hybrid in my mind is, I don't know. I just, I don't understand it. Anyhow, Ford said, the recall does not yet have a solution, but Ford are trying to come up with a solution. They say it's caused by engine oil and fuel vapors that can be released into the engine compartment if the power plant fails. There's been a bit of noise and talk between Great Wall Motors and BYD in China about these sorts of issues recently, but I won't get into the details on that. I'll have that in a different video. A class action lawsuit was filed over the problem shortly after the first recall was issued, but was dismissed by a judge in April. Now another lawsuit has been filed claiming that these modern Ford hybrids remain unsafe, according to Detroit Free Press. This new lawsuit was filed in the US District Court for the Eastern District of Michigan by the owners of six Ford hybrids who claim that the automaker's initial proposed fix for this problem, adding drain holes to an underhood shield and changing the active grill shutters to allow more airflow and reduce underhood temperatures is grossly inadequate. Now, I don't know if this is true. I'm just telling you what has been happening. The lawsuit also claims these engines are prone to seizing up which shatters the connecting rods and bearings and sends them through the oil pan or engine block conditions that can lead to a fire. The thing is, plug-in hybrids don't use, as far as I'm aware, there are almost no plug-in hybrids worldwide that use lithium ion phosphate battery chemistry, which is much safer and much less likely to fires. And in particular, it burns more slowly. So the problem is because all of these plug-in hybrids are using NMC technology, nickel manganese cobalt based lithium ternary batteries they're much more prone to fire when that type of battery catches fire it burns very quickly it can be hard to get out of the car in time to escape with your life as many people have found out sadly thus far roughly two dozen known fires have occurred in these ford hybrids that's uh more than 24 including those belonging to two of the six plaintiffs in this lawsuit, both of whom owned escape hybrid models that burst into flames. Regardless, Ford remains adamant that these fires were caused when owners continued to drive their vehicles after the engine faulted, 
which it has instructed them not to do until it can come up with a suitable fix. Ford's basically told customers, if there's an engine light, just don't drive your car, period. Or basically, if there's something going on with the car, you should know and just not drive the car. I think Ford will probably end up settling in this case because I'm not convinced they are in the right here. As we indicated in our submission to the federal regulator, we expected the initial repair to be effective, but continued to monitor the performance of the vehicles and reacted responsibly as facts developed, said Ford spokeswoman Maria Bukowski in response to the lawsuit. Now, Maria, in that, that paragraph there, has just admitted to the fact that uh, Ford's fix wasn't adequate. That's what she just said. We expected it to be adequate. She's just basically admitted that it hasn't actually worked. She said, we've now learned that some customers continue to drive on the alternative hybrid electric system even after an engine block breach. And so we are notifying customers to park the vehicle if what's known as a block breach occurs. Now, the thing is, if, as a customer, how the hell would you even know this? I, don't, I really don't understand how they can expect people to know this. What comes up with a light on the dashboard, engine block breach, stop driving. As far as I know, it doesn't have that as a warning light in the car. Anyway, Ford said our team is working earnestly to resolve this issue and meet the needs of our customers. I should point out I've made a few videos on the fact that Ford pays out more in warranty costs per car than any other car company in the world. The only other car company that has beaten them ever in the last decade is Volkswagen Group, but that was only a res as a result of the diesel emissions scandal. Now, su stay subscribed to the channel. I'll have more to update you about this story and about this what seems to be increasing problem of plug-in hybrid based car fires. Another car that this happened to was the, this is a bit of a crazy story, the new Chevy Corvette, the plug-in hybrid, that thing was driving, it wasn't even available for sale. The actual testers were driving it and I believe it was in Spain they were testing it. This thing incinerated itself within a matter of about a minute, burnt to nothing. I mean, you've seen burnt cars, right? You see it when a fire rips through, like in Hawaii right now, in Maui, you've seen there's a lot of burnt out cars there. My condolences to the victims, by the way. But you see those burnt out cars, they look like a car. You can see there's a car shell there, immense heat there. Anyway, with a lot of these plug-in hybrid car fires, in particular with this Chevy Corvette fire, you cannot tell there was ever a car there. There's no way of knowing. That's how insanely hot these fires are. They incinerate the car to just a pile of ashes. The only way you can tell that there was a car there is the aluminium rims, which seem to be, be able to hold up to fire much better than the rest of the car. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.